Hello and welcome to a video from FilmsByChris.com. I'm Chris, that's Chris with a K. Links in the description to my website where you can search through my videos. Also links to the full playlist. This is part of a playlist. I recommend watching the previous videos to understand what's going on. Uh, but there's also a link to my GitLab page which has all the examples for all the videos in this project. Today we're going to look at, if you go under examples, we're going to look down to here to uh, replace random uh, monsters random. Is that what I called it? Uh, <laughs> I just clicked on it. Where does it say it? Um, we are, yeah, replace monsters random. So what is this going to do? Well, I have in here, I have two files. If I go ahead and run gzdoom-file dot, just saying, look at the files in the current directory, and then we're saying load doom2 warp to map1. When I do that, you'll see where there's normally zombie men. We now have a zombie man and a uh, uh, Wolfenstein mon uh, monster. If I run it again, now we've got an imp there. Run it again. Every time we load it, the monsters are being replaced with random monsters. Let's go ahead and look at the code and how this is done. So again, we have our zscript file, which just says the version of zscript and then what file we're gonna run, which in this case is called uh, random replace. And if I go into that, and again, I'm using uh, NeoVim as my text editor, use whatever text editor you are uh, comfortable with. In here, anything that's purple is a comment. Uh, so with the forward slashes, these are all comments. That's code that does not run, just gives you information. And I try to put links to stuff. So I just clicked on uh, level processor, or level post processor. So you can read through the documentation on that. But the reason I make these videos is so that you don't have to read through all the documentation, uh, but it also doesn't hurt to do it. Give you a little explanation of what's going on here, but I'm gonna walk you through it now. We are creating a class. I'm calling it my level post processor. Probably could have given it a better name, maybe random monster, uh, but you can call that pretty much whatever you want. But what is it? It is a level post processor, which means when the level is loading, this is gonna run before the level's done loading so that it can replace things or change things. We're gonna be doing a lot with this in the future for modifying levels and not just, you know, items in the levels, actors in the levels, things in the levels, but the actual levels themselves. We can modify rooms and stuff. Okay, so here we're going to just run this apply function. Don't worry too much about it. Just look at the code. Here, what are we gonna do? We're gonna loop through each thing on the map. What is a thing? A thing is any item. It could be a player, it could be a monster, it could be a uh, lamp, it could be a corpse, it could be a power-up uh, health, but it's gonna loop through each one of them. If you're new to programming, you may not completely understand what a for loop is, but I'm gonna to try to explain it to you. We're gonna say four. So we're gonna say for each item, for each thing on the level. We're gonna do, okay, we're gonna create a variable called I, which is an int, which is a number, and we're set equal to zero. I actually don't have to. If you don't put anything, it automatically sets to zero, so I don't need to put that there, I just did. So we're saying, okay, we're gonna loop, we're gonna start with I at zero, and we're gonna loop. Everything inside th these uh, curly braces here is going to happen over and over again f while I is less than the number of things on the level. So it's gonna look at everything, and so it's gonna start at zero, Say, okay, as long as it's less than the number of things that I am, we're gonna add one to it. So each time it loops, it adds one. Okay, next, we're going to get, each item as we loop through it, we're gonna get uh, their uh, ed, uh, ed number, okay? And we're gonna put it in this variable. So we're gonna get ed number for whatever item we're at here. Again, there's a link right here. What is an ed number? Each ed number uh, has its own each item in the map has its own ed number. So an ed number, so an editor number. So for an example, the, we have different games here. We have Doom, Doom 2, Heretic, Hexen, Strike, and um, Chex Quest, which is a great game if you've never played Chex Quest. So for example, in Doom and Doom 2, the blue key card has a number of five. Yellow key card is a number of six. Spider Mastermind is number seven. Shotgun Guy is number nine. So you can look through all the items here for each game and get its ed number over here on the left. So that's what we're doing here. We're saying, okay, for each item, get its ed number. Then we're creating an array here, an array, and we're saying these ed numbers. So let's go ahead and uh, take 301. We have 301, just, just to remember some numbers off the top of my head. We have 301, or sorry, 3001, 3006, and 3004. If I come in here and I type in 3000, one, you can see that's a Doom Imp. If I do 3004, that's a Zombie Man, and 3006 is a Lost Soul. Uh, other examples is 65 is a Chain Gun Guy, and 84 
is a Wolfenstein SS monster. So one of the Wolfenstein monsters there. So I'm creating an array there that are each of these numbers. An array is basically like a list of things. Then we are going to look the current monster, the current monster that we're looking at, the current thing on the map, if it has an ed number of, and remember we got that, we created that variable ed number here based on what its ed number is. If it is 3004, which is a zombie man, replace it with one of the following. And so what I do here is I create a random variable. So I'm creating a variable called R and I'm saying random. Let is just a way of creating a variable uh, and it will default to whatever type it is. Technically, some people will argue I probably should put it int there for integer, which is a number, uh, which is probably a better way of doing it. But let will change the variable to whatever variable it is based on what you pass it. But we're saying R is a number. What number is it? Well, it's a random number between zero and the ID size one. So ID is here. The size is how many there are. We're saying minus one because we don't want to go past the last item in it. And so here we're, we're going to get a random, in this case, we, it's going to be zero, one, two, three, or four. Wait, zero, one, two, three, or four. Uh, yeah. So there's five options, zero through five, zero through four. And then we're going to say set item thing number, I, the current item, to one of these random numbers. So again, that's the whole code. I'll explain it again. We're looping through every item in the in the map. For each item, we're going to get its its unique ID, its ednum. We're creating a list of items that we're going to replace it with. If it's 3004, so if it's a zombie, then we are going to replace that current item with one of these four. So it's a zombie, so it's either going to be a imp, chain gun guy, lost soul, Wolfenstein, or it's going to stay as a zombie. So that's the entire code there. Again, if we run it, any map we go to, so we can go to map two instead of one, and you'll see that these beginning zombie guys, we have a zombie guy there now, and we have uh, a few lost souls there. And if I go past these guys in here, oh, we have uh, a Wolfenstein guy and a lost soul. Uh, the shotgun guy stays as a shotgun guy because we're only replacing, in this particular case, uh, zombies. So again, I hope I broke that down for you. We're getting a little more advanced with some of these videos, uh, but I'm trying to break it down, especially for people who haven't done coding before. Again, if you've done coding for any amount of time, you understand for loops and arrays. So this should make complete sense to you. Uh, but if you're new, I'm trying to break it down. I hope it makes sense. Come in here, play with these numbers. Look at, uh, again, the link in here to all the numbers and get different numbers. So for example, if I want, we have uh, five and six here. I can come in here and if I was to change these numbers to just five comma six, oh, five, five comma six. Now, if I run this, every zombie man should turn into either a blue key or a yellow key. If I go back to the first level, they're going to be a blue key or a yellow key. So that's all I had to do was change those numbers in this array to whatever I want. It automatically adjusts the number of length, number of items in this array, in this list. Uh, so yeah, play around with that. And here we're saying replace zombie man. If I was to change this number uh, to the number for imps, which was uh, what, 3001, then we only replace imps with the key cards in this case. So again, play around with this code. I hope you found it useful. Uh, check out the links in the description again to the full playlist, the example code, download the example code, go test it out, modify it. If you mess it up, download it again and play around again. I think one of the best ways of learning uh, how to program is to start with some code that works and modify it. It's one of the great things about Doom is that it's been around for a long time. It's great code you and it's open source. And then we have these great projects like uh, Zscript that allow you to modify it. So you can just play around with code that already exists. And that's what this project's all about. Thanks for watching and I hope that you have a great day.